lining up. Um, as we said, I need to fix the washer dryer. We don't really know what's going on when I talk to the guys, so I'm just replacing a bunch of parts they requested for me to replace. So that's what's going on here. Not trying to prove to you a how-to video, but this is kind of the world that we live in. <laughs> Uh, you can see like we're set up here at Bond, Kentucky. I'm doing a weekend meeting here and so I got a few hours after finishing up there so started tearing this down. So I got the back off, the bottom off, the top off and this is the control board and when I get it replaced it's the hardest thing to do. I'll put the bottom all back together and then I'm going to go to the top and fix the top. Thought you said it was too big of a mess. There's a huge mess. Hey guys, welcome back to Tag Along with the Tinsleys. Uh, what am I doing? I'm putting the washer and dryer back in here, but I'm trying to put put a protector in. We are like 12 hours down the road in Bristow, Oklahoma. I went to take this fan blade off. There is this nut underneath and it is a it's a squeeze fitting anyways it broke in two it completely broke in two and uh, i had to wait for this part to come to me where i'm at which is in bristow so once it came to me i fixed it so yesterday i put it back together before church in about 20 minutes of time i had all the main work done like the the computer and all that chain i'm gonna get ready to put the washer dryer back in so we also got our cabinet door fixed which is still not fixed right yeah i put it on there but uh it's made the uh the hinge is out of place from the the lock here and i think the girls must have broke this lock which this is one of the locks that i've replaced so I'm gonna have to change it out as well. If you have any, if you're an RVer and you have any better options for us, we really struggle with this whole drawer cabinet latch. We're constantly breaking and we're constantly having to maybe, replace them. Maybe it's because we're using it more than anybody else. I don't know. But one of the other problems is, is like trying to, the new ones are not the same size as these. So when you try to put a new one on there, it's, it's a massive mess. So we got the, cabinet replaced put back on so update from last video we got our tire fixed we got two new tires put on the rear and uh, of the truck so we're gonna put the dryer back in and we should be good to go we need to wash clothes that's really and we wash it on a regular cycle and then we do the time dry for three times for a total of two hours and 25 minutes Hold the play button down for three seconds. And I'm gonna put the doors on. He's gotta put the doors on. We'll let you know if it washes and dries. <laughs> That's the goal. Yeah, yes. All right, so the washer and dryer is fixed. And what are you doing, Penn? I'm putting another load on. We're headed to church, right? Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to Tag Along with the Tinsleys. We are in Bristow, Oklahoma. So we came here this week to set up sound system and do um, their camp meeting. And so last night was the last night. So today we're packing and loading the motorhome up and we're gonna be moving down the road. Oh look, like here's the most famous little building in all of Oklahoma. We paid like $50 in tolls this week. <laughs> it's like you're held captive. By the toll roads. They do have good roads, I will say that. So I don't mind it as long as the roads are good. Yeah, you can go like, uh, most 80. of their roads are 80. Speed limits are 80. It's crazy, kind of insane. Dollar 75, oh. please. Hello oh, there, where are you headed to? Tulsa. It's gonna be a dollar 75, please. Thank See, you, sir. I didn't know that. Anyways, so basically what we've heard, and I don't know this to be 100, but I'm pretty sure it is because you won't find them anywhere except for certain locations. So they have dairy farms and their locations have to be within so many miles of their dairy farm because they carry everything to the Brom store fresh. So the milk is bombed out. The milk, we stock up on milk when we're here and their chocolate milk, my girls don't really like their chocolate milk, but I love their chocolate milk. It's super thick, super chocolatey. It literally tastes like you're drinking a chocolate shake. 
my favorite ice cream there is Rocky Road. But anyways, we'll show you guys. They have a little grocery store. It's pretty cool. If you've never been to Brahms, we recommend it 100%. Right there it is. Man, that's a good looking camera. Y'all come to the Granny's house and it's gonna be hot and sweaty. Hey, Mavie, come up here and oh. tell you tell your Granny a joke. Granny, what, baby? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? Because to get to the other side. Tell her. What? Tell her again. Because. Because? Is that what she's saying? She's saying because. <laughs> like a chicken. Because. Because, because? like it's a chicken. Because. <laughs> Buckle back up. Oh, Lord. That's hilarious. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ranch. Ranch who? Ranch dressing. Ranch and drink. <laughs> All right, well, we love you, Mom. Tell them, tell Greedy. All right, love y'all too. Love Enjoy you, your bye. ice cream. Love, love you, Greedy. Love you. I know you too. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. Sauce is amazing. Uh huh. Mm, best ever. How's your food? It's really good. How's your food? Is it good? What's next, guys? Ice cream. Ice cream. Woohoo! How's your food? It's like good. So we have a double scoop of birthday cake. Mallory got what is called the tuxedo sundae. It's got a marshmallow syrup on top of the chocolate. It's legit. It, lo it looks good. It's the gym. She got vel- the, what'd you get? It's a gym. Vanilla bean and uh, birthday bean. And then Ma oh, Madeline yeah, always gets a cake cone with chocolate. <laughs> Who likes cake cones over Me? waffle cones? And then I get the Rocky Road. And Jared got the Heath Sunday. had so much fun today and we're just gonna go to bed now so